The Drake Passage is the closest point from any landmass to the continent of Antarctica. It stretches from really the southern points of Chile and Argentina all the way down to the South Shetland Islands and the Antarctic Peninsula. The three main ocean bodies of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean dump water into the Southern Ocean and it causes a circulation around Antarctica. Since the Drake Passage is the narrowest part uh, through that current that circul circulates around Antarctica, the, the, the current is very high and with the weather it creates a ton of waves that can be sometimes up to about 40 feet. People will refer to well, the voyage is either being the Drake Lake or the Drake Shake. Well, I think on ours, we had a little of a mixture between the two. I think ideally we were, we were hoping that it would be more Drake Lake, but we did want to see some big waves. Here we're seeing the waves coming in almost really parallel to the ship. They're coming in and making us roll. Uh, honestly, it, it made it hard to walk, especially up and down the hallways. Luckily, the stairs and the hallways all had handrails so you could hang on. If you were carrying something, which was not recommended, um, you could still go around, um, but it was, a, it was very difficult. When you were in the main lounge and you wanted to walk, there were handrails, but there was a big space between them, and generally there would be people standing and you would have to walk around them. Well, it made a little bit of a challenge. By the second day on the way back, I kind of got the hang of it. I could kind of bank a little bit as I was walking. I could anticipate when the ship was going to roll, and I could change my banking from one side to the other. I will say the most impressive feat that I saw on this entire trip was our wait staff at, at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Watching them bring the dishes, clean the dishes off of the table, and they would stack them on their trays. And regardless of how much that ship was rolling, they were able to carry the, they stack them up and they would carry those dishes and without dropping any. That was impressive. So one of the things that we were able to master while we were going through the Drake Passage was napping. By the end of the trip, we were getting pretty good at it. All right, so one of the things that uh, was interesting about the, about the sleeping and napping in, in our beds was the fact that our beds went from port to starboard. They were perpendicular across the, the axis of the, of the ship. We, we weren't in line with the axis of the ship. So when it would roll side to side, we would be moving port to starboard. In fact, if you're watching me nap right here, you'll see me scrunch up. It was an interesting feeling. So because I was laying on my clothes, they would kind of stick to the covers. So when the ship would roll to port, I could feel my body sliding inside of my clothes an inch or so, and then when it would go back to starboard, I would feel it go back another inch sliding in there. It was, it was very, very interesting. I found that when I would close the bathroom door when I was in there, I noticed that the blue bag that we have our toiletries in swaying now with the ship. When the door was open, Essentially, it was on the axis of the ship and it didn't really move much. So I set the camera up so we could watch what was happening with our, with our bag. At one point, Kim said, let's record the suitcase sliding back and forth. So we set it up and, and did. This clip doesn't show it quite as much, but a lot of times when we would look out the window, we would be able 
to like look up and see nothing but sky and then as the ship started to roll we would see almost nothing but but water our return trip there was discussion that we could have possibly up to 27 28 foot waves did have us a little bit concerned but apparently it wasn't as severe or we left a little bit early so maybe we outran that in the end I'm kind of glad but damn I really wanted that iconic shot of the water just spraying up over the bow of the ship